Where is she? Sorry, I'm late. My personal design scooter didn't work. You got a scooter? A personally designed one? No way. <laughs> Don't act so surprised, Daisy. Hi, Mabel. Do I know you? Hi, Mabel. I love your outfit. <laughs> of course you do. Hey, back up, people. I know I'm awesome, but still. girl with the ugly bow. Me? I'm not wearing a bow. Did you just say I was lying? What? Uh, no, I would never. Yep, she did, Maybelle. Ugh, I am disgusted with you. But what was your question? Never mind. Maybelle, you lose one, you lose them all. <gasps> You're right. Uh, wait! to uh sit with us at lunch or something <gasps> no way yep thanks Mabel and sorry if I said you were lying it's fine person see you at lunch <laughs> not you handed that well May but now we have to sit with her at lunch Ugh, I know Hey, Maybell, do you see what I see? Uh, Daisy, I keep telling you, I don't know the lyrics to that song. What? No, not the Christmas song. Look, over there. Oh, you're right, it's that little weirdo jade girl. Yeah, why is she always standing up to you? I don't know. Nobody does except her. But I always get the last word. Oh yeah, you so got her yesterday with that juice prank. People, trying to have a private conversation here. Move it! Better. She's looking at us. What? Where? I can't see her through the, that crowd of people. Ah, oh, she left. Oh, well, I better go to homeroom. See you in math. Okay, bye. Okay, everybody, attention. <clears throat> now, everybody, like I told you yesterday, we are going to be doing a Secret Santa game. Miss Terry, um, what's a Secret Santa? You don't know what a Secret Santa is? <laughs> oh, that's classic. Maybell, please only talk if you are asking a question or called on. Oh, yes, Miss Terry, of course. Talk about teacher's pet. Now, uh, Jade, your question was about Secret Santa, correct? Oh, yes, Miss Terry. All right, well, Secret Santa is where everybody gets a number and they don't share it with anybody or also not be able to participate in the Secret Santa game. Anyways, after you have given your number, have, well, <laughs> are given your number, me on a paper, you must memorize it, and then you come up here and put it in the bowl. Then I'll call on each student and they'll come up and pick a number. And whatever number they get, they have to buy presents for them and put them in the boxes I have in the back of the room. Back there. And it has people's numbers on it. And nobody knows who has them or even who they have. And on the last day before Christmas break, we will have a party here in homeroom and you'll find out who who have and who has you you can now do you understand you should have written that down that's a lot of words yes miss terry i understand perfectly what how could you have memorized all that i have a good memory miss terry how will we know what to get our people what oh you don't oh i hope
hope I don't get an ugly sweater. Anything looks good on you, Maybelle. Lucy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, she is right. Now I will come around and give you your number. And remember, don't tell anybody. And when you have written it down in your notebook or memorized it, come up and put it in a bowl. Now everybody, these are the numbers of who you are, not who you will get. And remember, don't show them to anybody so nobody look at each other's. In fact, fold them up so nobody sees. Thank you. Mine is easy to memorize. I'll just remember. Mabel, you almost just gave away your number. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Sorry, Miss Terry. I won't say a word. Now, everybody, this is my prized possession. It's a bowl. Well, not any ordinary bowl, Miss Serene. This bowl has a fish in it. We see that. But this adorable little fishy isn't real. It swishes up all the things that you put in it, kind of like a mixer. But for things like your numbers that I'm putting in there. Isn't it magnificent? I invented it. Sure. Oh, I know you're clapping for me in your little heads. Sure. I guess I'll go put mine in a bowl. Well, I'm ready to put mine in a bowl. Thank you, girls. Now, everybody, once you memorize yours or written it down, you may come up. Okay, everybody, and one by one, you may come up and pick up your card, and whoever that number is, you get presents for them. And like I said, you put them in the boxes when nobody is looking. Uh, three days later. Maybelle, you can come up and pick your number first. Like always. Like always. Let's see what number I got while well, this person isn't looking. Hey, Elizabeth, don't look while I see what number I got. Okay, same here. Mom! Dad, I'm home! Oh, uh, hello, hello, Mabel. Mom, why are you so down? Well, um, you might take this a little hard, but... <sighs> First of all... Do me a favor. Don't go shopping. What? But I always go shopping. Hmm, may, may j just listen, okay? Her dad got fired. What? But mom, his job was like the big boss guy of the company. He owned it, literally. Well, his company isn't what it used to be. This isn't fair, not for me, but for him. I know, I know, he, he just, he needs to find a half-time job, but it won't be the same, so no more shopping. You can live with what you got, and maybe even sell your designer clothes. What?